I think that everyone is always deeply influenced by the tastes and smells of their childhood. So for me, it's growing up on the ocean, the smell of seaweed, uh, the taste of lobster, the sound of the ocean. And I think the way that I cook has some sense of continuity in what I remember from growing up, and then a lot of discovery from the area where I live now. My name is Daniel Patterson, and we are at Qua Restaurant in San Francisco. As someone who's not from here originally, uh, what I really wanted was a way to connect to people who are from here. And I thought that one way could be using plants that are already here. We have certain wild plants in the area in that sense. It's very much an expression of uh, the physicality of the place, but it's also, I think, an expression of the culture of the place. I guess my first experience with foraging was when uh, I opened my first restaurant and uh, I was very involved in uh, getting ingredients and sourcing. It's part of the way we do things. Typically, um, wild foods are aromatics. They're ways that we season um, rather than the foods themselves. It allows us to kind of tailor the taste of our dishes to something that's very personal to us. One thing I like about foraging is you have to choose a little bit more carefully the product you're working with because uh, you, you choose it yourself, so you taste different things. So in that sense, uh, we're, we're dictating the taste of our ingredients and, and dishes. So when I'm tasting, I'm tasting for a couple of things. One is very basic, it's seasoning. And at the same time, trying to also capture a sense of some excitement around something different. So showing a different facet of an ingredient that maybe is a little bit unusual or someone hasn't seen before. That sense of discovery is what people expect here, which is one of the reasons why I really focus on the, the, the area and the people in the area, because I want people who live here to come in and experience tastes that they remember from growing up and to see things that are familiar to them. One of the things that we focus on a lot is making sure that each ingredient is perfect, it's handled perfectly. Our dishes are very simple, often only two or three ingredients. If there's anything wrong with the ingredients, anything wrong with the cooking, it really stands out. The importance of ingredients is part of our culture here. How we handle them and what we want to get out of them, how we want to express them. I can't tell you why, when something feels right, but there's just this moment of synchronicity where I guess the best word I can use is delicious. There's this just moment where I can't put my finger on it when everything's just in perfect balance and, and the ingredients are just right when the dish is perfect. It's, it's hard to attain, but that's, that's what we spend our day chasing, that moment where everything is, is just right.